Hello! So here is the lesson on how to write a thesis statement. I realized that I hadn't had a chance to give you guys this lesson. I switched a couple things around this quint, um, and usually we already do our thesis statement lesson before we do our iSearch paper, so we're just a little bit backwards, and that's okay. We're going to write it today. We're going to learn about how to write it, um, and knowing why thesis statements are important and how to generate them, and then this really cool website that I literally just found, we're going to go over that as well. So I'm going to take you through this PowerPoint um, that should help you figure out how to write a research paper. Um, remembering back to the PowerPoint that we looked at before with our editorial, knowing that a thesis statement is basically just our argument, what we're trying to prove when we write this paper. So let's go through this. So here we have our writing a thesis statement. What are we trying to do here? A thesis statement is basically your guide map to the entire paper. Um, usually it's a one or two sentence statement. It explicitly outlines what you're trying to do. It is going to explicitly state what your argument is in this paper. Everything else that is in your paper, all of the body paragraphs, all of the data, all of the evidence has to support your thesis statement. It is your argument and your point of view in a nice one little sentence um, at the end of your introduction. Thesis statements include a couple of different things, so it's important to know what you're trying to prove or what you're trying to argue before you start writing your thesis statement. Um, and that's kind of where in this iSearch paper I've said, what is the question that you're trying to ask and what are you trying to answer? So thesis statements have two parts, the first being the subject, the topic. Uh, for example, if I'm writing about um, Canada's discovery of insulin, that's the topic, that's what I'm trying to answer. And then I need to have my opinion or my assertion about that subject. What am I trying to prove? Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? How did it happen? Da, 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 da. All of that is your thesis statement. So it needs to contain an arguable point. You can't just make a state of fact. You can't just say insulin was discovered by Dr. Banting in 1920-something. Because, yeah, that's true, and I can't argue that with you. A thesis statement should be arguable. So it's your topic plus your belief or your opinion about that topic. So some examples here, something with an arguable point. Because the polygraph has not been proven reliable, even under the most controlled conditions, its use by private employers should be banned. So this is a good thesis statement because it gives us our, our stats, our fact. It's been not been, um, the polygraph, sorry, that's the topic that we're writing about. And then the argument about that is that it's not proven reliable. So that is why um, this is a good thesis statement because it is an arguable point. We shouldn't be using it by private employers because it hasn't been proven reliable. A weak thesis statement. The first polygraph was developed by Dr. John A. Larson in 1921. I can't argue with that. That's a fact. That's straight truth. So I want to make sure that my thesis statement has something that I can argue about. Why do we need to have a thesis statement? Well, I'll tell you from the experience of spending almost 15 years writing, or not writing, marking essays. If you don't have a thesis statement, I'm going to be going through your essay being like, what are you talking about? I don't understand the purpose or the point of this essay. So writing a thesis statement will give you a purpose and a point and a position for why you're writing your essay. Um, the metaphor here we're using is that it's like having, or I guess the simile, it's like having a car without a driver. If you don't have a driver in your car, you're going to go wherever you want. So a thesis statement will help you draft your essay, it will keep you focused, it helps you to narrow down your subject, and it serves as a point of reference. So we want to make sure that we have a thesis statement. It will help you write your essay and help you to write a really strong essay because if everything backs up and supports that thesis statement, it's going to be logical and coherent. It controls your argument. Every paragraph in your paper exists in order to support your thesis. Okay, so if one of your paragraphs doesn't support what you're trying to state. If we go back to that polygraph test and maybe I start talking about um, uh, drug testing as a reason to not um, hire people, that could be true, uh, but it is not relevant to what I'm talking about in terms of having a polygraph test. So all of my paragraphs should support my thesis statement. If I'm writing about polygraph tests not being used because they are um, unreliable, all of my paragraphs should deal with that sort of issue. If you find that you have some stats or data 
uh, that you want to include, you may have to go back and change your thesis so that you can cover that topic. You can always change your thesis as you're in your drafting stage. Um, these I'm not going to go through because I will upload this PowerPoint for you so you can go through them on your own um, because I want to get to... Yes, okay, so we're writing it a little bit different. So an expository paper may be what we're writing in terms of this uh, research essay. So a research essay, we're explaining something, we're telling somebody about something. An example of that could be the life of the typical college student is characterized by time spent studying, attending class, and socializing with peers. So you might be reading that and being like, yeah, that's true, that's fact. However, um, I could still argue that point and be like, actually, that's not the life of a typical co college student. Most college students I know are working really hard, they're trying to study, um, and they don't have time to socialize with peers or, you know, something like maybe most students don't go to college. So that's why that thesis statement is arguable. If I was writing this paper, I would assume, or reading this paper, I would assume that this student is going to write about what it's like to study, what it's like to attend class, and what it's like to socialize with peers. So I have an idea of where this paper is going to go. And all of their body paragraphs should relate to that. So the first body paragraph would be about studying. First, bo second body paragraph about attending class. Last one about socializing with peers. So that's what's going to happen when I know, or what I'm going to know about this essay. Um, when you go to write your literary essay, this is probably one of the things you're going to want to look for in that thesis statement. So make sure you come back to that. As well as this one. Okay, so what does a throng, strong thesis statement have? So you need to not be afraid to take a stand. Give me your opinion. Tell me what your, your beliefs are about that. Um, choose an argument that leaves me thinking about uh, what you're saying and make me interested in it rather than saying, ah, so what? If I write, read your thesis statement, I'm like, I really don't care about that. And it's not a very strong thesis statement. So you want to have a thesis statement that is strong and will make me think about what's going on. You also don't want to get too broad. I've seen lots of students start to try to write really big, wild thesis statements. Then when you go to write that essay, it's really difficult. So make sure that you keep it narrow. So how do you do it? You're going to have your topic and then your explanation or the opinion that you're making about that topic. So here we go. We got some good examples again. Um, a non-strong thesis statement. Many college students work while attending classes. Okay. So what? That's what I'm thinking. I want to make sure that I have something in there that makes the reader want to know more. So here is a good example of a strong thesis statement. It has a topic and an argument or an assertion about that topic. Working while attending college classes remains necessary for many students, but unfortunately, many problems result from the difficulties of balancing work and school. Okay, so it's still on the topic of working while attending classes, but it provides an argument or an opinion or a belief about what happens when students have to attend, um, have to go to work while attending classes. So here's some things to not do. Don't announce your thesis. In this essay, I'm going to tell you da 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 da. I already know that you're going to tell me this thing because you're writing it. I can infer that. You shouldn't be using first person in this essay anyways. Don't confuse me. Make sure it's clear and to the point. Don't just express a fact. You can have a fact in your thesis statement, but it should also be supported by your opinion or your argument. Don't use vague words. So good, bad, right, and wrong, that doesn't mean anything. These are words that we've used so often in the English language that they don't actually have a meaning to them anymore. So try to find words that are powerful and create um, emotion or feeling in your writing. And a really important thing as well, don't ask a question in your thesis statement because you are trying to prove your opinion to me. If you're asking me a question, I'm going to be like, well, then I don't know. What is your opinion? Do you actually think this thing? So you can ask a question in like your hook or something, but it should not be your thesis statement. That is that. Okay, so what I wanted to show you guys now was I literally just found this um, website. I haven't used it yet, but it looks pretty cool. So this one called the Thesis Generator. I will um, upload it for you. This is for an argumentative thesis. So your paper is probably going to be either explanatory or argumentative, right? Uh, this is a glory or a scandal. So it's really cool because you can just type it in right here. Da -da 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 -da. We're going to pretend that we're going to keep this one right now. One, you're going to state your topic. And then they want you to add in 
these things. You can just follow this step by step. I love this. Okay, so they've already put it all in. And then you can generate your thesis. And then it tells you what your thesis statement is. Isn't that just the coolest little thing I've ever seen? So let's try something here. Uh, so we're talking about Canada's insulin is a glory. What is the, what am I trying to prove? Canadians should be proud of the discovery of insulin. I'm literally doing this right as we go along. Uh, give a reason why um, Canada was the first to discover insulin. Um, why should we be proud of this? Uh, insulin saves many lives and give one more reason why we should be proud of it. Ah, why should we be proud of it? Insulin is... Oh, actually, I think Dr. Bantin did not charge for the discovery. Okay, I'm not going to include this, so I'm just going to delete that. And then I'm going to generate my thesis. Okay. So this one, I, it, what I think is actually really cool about it is that it looks like I can change it a little bit or I could edit it a little bit. But so I could just say, Canadians should be proud of the discovery of insulin because Canada was the first to discover it. Insulin saved many lives. And, and also here, you know what, guys? This is actually a really good thesis. So play around with this, see what happens. Um, you, I guess we'll go back to that. I am absolutely enthralled with this thing. So glad that I found it. I will link it. Um, yeah, so there you go. Everything you need to know about writing a thesis. Um, good luck with your iSearch paper. If you guys have any questions, absolutely give me a call, send me an email, whatever you need. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys later.